I grew up in the East African region, in Kenya, Tanzania and Ethiopia. And since I was very young, uh, I took an interest in gender and human rights uh, issues. The coming of age period was something that fascinated me. Facing adulthood, facing reproduction in a challenging social context. It was that kind of experience, starting my own journey, that made me decide to focus on those issues going forward. At that time, uh, the HIV epidemic had started uh, tearing families apart. Many youth were dying and medication was not yet uh, available. I remember that many young parents perished uh, and children were left behind for the extended family and the old grandparents to take care of. So I was compelled to do something uh, to contribute. Uh, and at that time, a vision uh, about what needed to be done in Tanzania was emerging among uh, many of our stakeholders. And with a few colleagues, I founded uh, the civil society organization Femina Hip. Now our vision was to create a media platform using different vehicles like print, radio, TV to educate young people in an interactive, uh, lively mode using what we called entertainment education on sensitive issues. And in the secondary schools across the country we created a very solid presence uh, for the FEMA magazine we served as an extracurricular complement to the curriculum. Now to build the Femina Hip media platform, we worked in partnership with funders from Sweden, Denmark and other Nordic countries, with other international donors from Europe and the United States. And uh, the Tanzanian government supported our work, which was fundamental for us. For the first time in Tanzanian's history, several generations of youth could access their own media platform, mirroring their lives, and their struggles to make sense of a rapidly changing world where traditions and expectations are challenged by new ideas and lifestyles. So Femina magazine had the largest print run of any magazine publication in the nation's history. During the peak years, approximately 120,000 copies per issue were distributed quarterly to about 2,500 secondary schools in every region of the country. To this day, millions of copies have been entertaining and educating millions of readers. Therefore, one of the major achievements of Femina Hip is that it contributed to the breaking of the silence around sexual health by encouraging open communication about sensitive topics. Among youth, between teachers and students and between parents and youth.